previous video we looked at the added variable plot that's used to find influential cases in multiple linear regression. Now we're going to look at the partial residual plot, another useful plot in multiple linear regression. One of the assumptions of linear regression is that the response y is linear in the covariates. This is easy to check in the simple linear regression setting. Curve pattern in the residual plot of residuals versus regressors or fitted y suggests a nonlinear relationship between y and that covariate. But the residual plot is less effective in revealing nonlinearities in MLR. This is when the partial residual plot is useful. The central role of the PR plot is to reveal nonlinearity between Y and a given covariate in MLR. Look for curved patterns as you would with the residual plot for SLR. In the PLR plot, the covariate goes on the horizontal axis and the associated partial residual on the vertical. Partial residual for X is Y with the predicted effect of the other X's removed. The PR plot is designed to reveal a type of nonlinearity. It's based on the true model being linear in the parameters but possibly nonlinear in a covariate. So the true model is as displayed on the screen. The regressors may be a mix of covariates and factors. Aim is to determine the function f that may be nonlinear. For example, f could be a power. It's been shown that the PR plot for covariate x is expected to reveal the nonlinearity based on this model if, ignoring factors, the covariates are correlated to x. So before creating the PR plots, we can first look at the scatter plot matrix for the regressors. <laughs> Example 1, regress prestige on the covariates education, women and income and then assess whether there is a sign of nonlinearity between prestige and income. The left plot is the simple residual plot, the middle is the added variable plot for income and the right shows the partial residual plot for income. Notice the difference. The simple residual plot does not reveal any nonlinearity issue. On the other hand, the AV plot and the PR plot do. The curve is easier to spot in the PR plot as it's sharper. The green line in the PR plot is a smoother of the mean function that helps us see the relationship between the two variables. The shape of the curve looks like y is equal to log income, so we could try a log transform on income or run box Tidwell procedure on income. In practice, we will look at the PR plots for each covariate. We'll take this up in the next example. In practice, we might get hit by the so-called leakage effect when looking at a set of PR plots. To explain the leakage effect, consider a regression of y on two covariates x and s. Suppose y is linear in covariate x but nonlinear in s and that x and s are correlated. We find both PR plots have a curve, but we expected only a curve in the PR plot of s. What's happened here is that some nonlinearity in S has leaked into the PR plot for x and that's due to the correlation between s and x. Fox suggests a sequential process of refitting the model after dealing with the covariate that shows strongest nonlinearity. Let's revisit the prestige data and look at PR plots for all three covariates. There appears to be curves in the PR plot for education and income and stronger in income. Correlation between income and education is around 0.6. Following Fox, we deal with income and refit again, but with log income in place of income. And to make it easier to see what's happened, the two sets of plots are displayed together, the first set on the top row and after transforming income on the bottom. We see that the strong curve in income has gone after transforming income. The curve in education is less pronounced and bearing in mind there was a correlation between the two variables. This suggests the leakage effect in the PR plots for education. If you think there is still nonlinearity between education and prestige, then try transforming education. In summary guys, we examined the PR plots in multiple linear regression for signs of a type of nonlinearity and may use this along with the box Tidwell procedure. I'll show you how to get this plot in stats packages and separate videos and add the links in the description box.